Hello and welcome back to Sly Raccoon. I'm Octorax and this is Sly Raccoon. We're gonna jump right back in and get introduced to Ms. Ruby. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Vicious Voodoo. <laughs> Why is it always that they had fucked up childhood? Why is it always that? I mean, Mugshot had it. I don't know if, if Raleigh had it. I don't remember. I think he just was high class bitch who just wanted more of life. But, I mean, everybody. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? I haven't- you haven't done shit! It's just me out on the field. Fuck you, Bentley. Don't flatter yourself. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. Alright then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. I forgot I could do this. Yes. Of course. Jump and hit the circle button. Especially Duh. when you see the bark has been worn away, and we're in super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss. You'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, I see bottles. I see death. Wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, didn't I get the power-up thing that lets me not die in water? Anyway, this, without a, da without a doubt, is the creepiest of all the levels. Miss Ruby's segment of this game is, without a doubt, the most creepy thing. You're like, you're in the swamp and there's like creatures that you cannot imagine. Very death-oriented. Because voodoo and stuff. But the boss battle is the least fun. Because it is basically Simon Says. And these these mosquito guys always reminded me of Rayman. Like, you ride on a big ass mosquito and they they have the same color and like it's just weird to me. Maybe not maybe not weird is not the right word, but intriguing that they always had they look the same. So I speculated as a kid, like, could Rayman and Sly be the same world? I don't know, possibly. I mean, that would be a pretty good team up. Come on, It'd be like, um, if I mean, Glowbox and Murray would would uh, get along pretty well, and Rayman too. They both Glowbox and Rayman are pretty goofy. Uh, and so is Murray. I feel like Sly is not goofy per se, he's more like suave and uh, serious. While Bentley is, uh, he's serious, very. He's not the same kind of serious as Sly is. Because Sly is like very confident, and so, and Bentley is not confident at all. At least in the first game. I mean, have you felt that? that that uh, Bentley, sorry, 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 I lost the name for a second there. Uh, is confident because I don't. Okay, now let's just have a look at this guy. It's a giant rat with like a snake tail, a skull necklace, voodoo powers. And like a skull flashlight. 
That is very weird. You cannot tell me that that is not weird. Because it is. Now, Benji. No. That's just what? There's the decoy. Okay, let's try. It. That was not the good placing for it. Got one. Damn it. Okay, this is very. I have to concentrate a lot on this part because this is actually pretty hard. Fuck! Damn it! Ugh. Okay, let's try that again. You like. Okay, uh, My mind is very weird and. and scattered all the time basically I sorry if you can't hear me I'm scratching my nose uh, <laughs> but I was thinking about what I said about Rayman and Globox and Sly and gangs basically and Rayman is like a very more goofy game while well, this is more this is goofy also but not at all don't you dare you motherfuck oh oh my god I did do work that was incredible. That was Mr. Incredible. Have you heard? I am jumping from thought to thought, but have you guys heard? There is going to be an Incredibles 2. I feel like this should be everybody's knowledge. Because The Incredibles was one of the best Pixar movies ever. I love superhero movies. Okay, what the fuck happened to the floor? Yes, but bottles. How many bottles are I have 19. I'm missing one. Okay. Yeah, but Incredibles 2, it's gonna be a thing, and I love it, because The Incredibles was like one of the best Pixar movies ever. There's Bob. So I am very excited for that, I'm probably gonna see it in theaters. What I've noticed, because uh, my aunt, or aunt if you wanna call it that, I say aunt, uh, lives in, and my aunt and my uncle, lives uh, in USA. And uh, where was it going with it? All oh, right, uh, movie, movies, movie tickets. Cause here in Sweden, movie tickets cost a lot of money. It's like 120 crowns, which is like I don't know what in dollars, but it just look it up if you're cu curious. But it's like a lot less, a lot less, more than like one third. More like what people pay in the US is like one third of what we pay here in Sweden. So, wait, did I get the shield roll? I did, okay. Uh, so, when I hear people, I people say, like, I have watched that, I watched that movie like five times, five, 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 five times in theaters. I was like, how the hell did you afford that? Why would you, like, waste your money on that? And then I found out it's not as expensive as it is here. And that really ticks me off. I don't like that. I want to see movies for cheaper price, too. That is bullshit. Very bullshit. I see a dragon head. I am very scared right now. Okay, where are we? That dragon head, or... Crocodile head or alligator head, whatever. Only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right. Yes. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that school temple. School temple. Wicked awesome. Heretical. Tubular. Oh. 
Okay, that actually scared me. Okay, sorry I didn't let you finish, bitch. But, <laughs> but I think this is like Ben Phil explain. All right. Flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the. I don't want to. No, Bentley. I'm afraid of water. Don't let me do it. No. Okay. The only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry. You only have two. It doesn't make sense. Why would fish give me fuel? And why do I have time limit? That this doesn't make sense, but hey, it's a video game. It's not supposed to make sense. Did I fire with the circle button? No, the okay, I wasted one. Great! Come here, you bastard. I don't think I'm gonna succeed in this first one. Come back here, you bitch! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I really have to concentrate. When I concentrate, I'll become quiet. I apologize for that, but that is just how I work. So I can't be very entertaining while doing this because you really do need to concentrate. Quack! Come on, fishies. Okay. Why I don't why can't you just have more than five at the same time? It doesn't make sense either. Come here, you fish bitch. I don't know how you can be a female dog and a fish, but hey, doesn't make sense. Neither does this game. Hi, you guys. Come here. Ah, got you. I don't think I have time. Or am I in space? Oh, five more, come on! Ah, oh, so close! No! Fuck! Oh, try again. Damn it! Okay, let's try this again. Oh, fishy! Fishy, come here, fishy! Okay, there's a lot of fish over here. Let's just try to collect them out. We gotta catch them all! Oh, fucking, I missed. Gotta crush them all, gotta crush them all! Lighting fish! Come on. Come on. I'm doing better this time, I can feel it. Missed one over here, yep. Yeah. Okay. I think I have everyone on that side. Uh, got it. Oh no! Dos! Gotta eat them fishies! Drive over them, rather. Okay. Ooh. Is he a school of fish over here? I never got that. Why is it called a school of fish? That just weirds me out. Cause like, I don't know why it does, but it does. Don't ask me stuff. You don't know me. Don't judge. Okay. Don't shit. Fishies. Fucking come here. Yeah, I got this in the bag. I just need one more fish. There you go. And now I need to find things I'm gonna light up. One more. And it's right there. GG. GG. And there's the key. That wasn't that hard. Oh, okay.
Okay. Back to my thought about teams and stuff. Okay, you, if you're gonna watch my videos, you're gonna have to get used to that. I backtrack on my thoughts. Uh, but I talked about like 10 minutes ago or something about uh, teams. And I think they made a uh, like game, like PlayStation Heroes or something, where Bentley, Sly, uh, oh, what's his face? Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter was like in a game together and it sucked balls if I'm correct I think I am correct oh shit maybe I should do this level now well fuck it you guys are gonna get a longer episode because this is the most difficult level in I don't know the game but at least in this part of the game Yep, you are correct. There are ghosts. Very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghosts stop coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you there must be some kind of ghost generator. Seriously, stop talking out of your nose. It's not a good image for you, Bentley. Okay, these blink. That is scary. That is spooky scary skeletons that shivers down your spine. Spooky scary skeletons that shivers down your spine. I don't know why I started singing that. Okay, okay. Ghost! It's a ghost! It's a bottle and a ghost! I am afraid of ghosts. Do you, do you guys believe in ghosts or spirits or whatever? Fuck. Water. All oh, right, water doesn't hurt me. I forgot about that. Uh, do you guys believe in ghosts and spirits and shit? Like, I'm not talking about paranormal activity, sort of it, but like that people watch over you and that kind of stuff. Because I kind of do. See now, my grandpa passed away when I was like 10, I think. Just by preface this, I am 18, soon to be 19 right now. And uh, when I was like 12, uh, I slept with my door open. I don't do that anymore. Don't ask me why, because I just feel comfortable not being s my s throat being slipped while sleeping. Um, but, uh, then, I, there was one night I couldn't sleep, and I was like, you know, playing with my finger, that sounded, when I said it out loud, that sounded very weird, but you know, like, rolling my thumbs or whatever, uh, and, like, looked at all the stuff in my room while it, while it was dark, and then I looked out the door, and in the hallway, there was a, like, shadow creature that was dancing very 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 weirdly like I don't know how you say it but like doing a, doing that wave thing with your arms and like you know hop it around I saw like a shadow I didn't see a person I just saw a shadow doing that it was shadow the hedgehog her, her, her. Uh, no, but, and that really freaked me out, and that happened, like, a lot? Every time I looked out, and that's when I started closing my door, and I told my parents about it, and, uh, like, they were, they were, like, very, I, they believed me, <laughs> so that was good. Did I die? No, I didn't die, I still had one more shoot. Uh, they believed me, uh, and there was nothing more about that because they didn't know what to do or like anything about that. Then uh, we had like a birthday party because uh, I was turning 13, I guess. And my aunt that I talked about before that lives in the U.S. Uh, came, and she is she is very interested in like 
out of this world stuff and has experienced it herself a and I told her about it and uh, she said well could be a grandpa like being a sign of him watching over you or something like that and I was like how I didn't I think of that does that actually kind of make sense because when I was a kid my grandfather was my best friend that sounds kind of sad but he was I didn't have a lot of friends as a kid, friends as a kid, but I always had my grandpa, which I like, and grandma, of course, uh, which I always like went up to. He he taught me how to like play play cards. He was a very competitive man. He did every sports every sport imaginable. He played football. He played handball. He played table tennis, he played regular tennis, and when he, his body like gave up, he started playing card games, like poker and bridge and stuff. And he taught me how to play uh, some card games, and uh, so that kind of, that kind of bonded us together, and I always treasured that, like, who wouldn't? Okay, I'm missing 13 bottles. I'm going to go back and look for them. And I always treasured that, and I felt always felt like my grandfather would always be my friend. So after my aunt said this, I felt very happy over this. I, I, I can't really explain the feeling. And after that, I actually wanted to check again if the... Uh, uh, if I because he was also very goofy, so that would explain the silly dance. Um, so like that night, I slept with my door open, and uh, like wanted wanted to check if it was still there, and uh, it wasn't. So maybe it was just because he wanted to tell me like, hey, hey Axel, you know. I love you and I will always watch over you. So that is my real little over unnatural story, I guess. Uh, I have missing a lot of bottles. I haven't really focused on playing the game. I just focused on that story because that is like I love my grandpa so much. I was so sad when he passed away. But apparently he was also very sick. I didn't know this as a kid because he always seemed so upbeat and uh, fun. Like he didn't seem sick, but he was apparently very sick. And uh, yeah, he died by the sickness. He was he became like I think 63 years old, I think. Uh, and I I talk about him and uh, my memories of him with my parents and my grandma a lot uh, so that like helps me rem both remember him and like connect with my uh, grandma because because I love my grandma too there's nothing like that it's just I miss my grandpa <laughs> this, this became a very emotional episode of Sly Raccoon I am sorry about that but I don't know if if you have any you watching have any overnatural experiences. If you do, please tell me in the comments because I'm very interested in other people's stories about these kind of these kinds of stuff. Uh, so that would be nice, and we can kind of have a conversation. Uh, it would be awesome. Okay, so I got all for 40 bottles. Uh, I just breezed through this level. I think I died once. Uh, but this level is very hard because they're like ghosts and yeah you saw them so I don't know why I'm telling you this but we just need to get to the vault and the key is right there because if you if you kill all of the monsters and the ghosts and the swamp creatures you uh, it's a very nice level because a lot of times I, I miss bottles and I have to go back and I just look around and I just love the environment. 
of this level. The environment of this... I was like, did I skip it? I don't know. The environment of this game is very on point where in the world you are. Oh my god. I actually have no idea what that means. I don't remember that. So, that's the thing. But let's get this key, and this has been a very long episode. I don't know how much I'm gonna cut, but I've been recording for 25 minutes, and that is a very long episode for being a sly raccoon episode. So, I'm gonna just say thank you so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon. Don't forget to. Uh, before, before I, you know, get a, do my outro, please, I, I'm gonna just say it again, please leave me comments about if you have overnatural experiences. Because that is very interesting to me. I know a lot of people are very skeptic of these kinds of stuff, but, you know, if, you're, if you have some kind of story, I'd just love to hear about it. So, let me know. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.